Hello, gentlemen, and welcome back to Dawn of the Meshiga. Here we go on a brand new run, number 71. Bought of the universe from randomly selected the name Hobbs. Hobbies 2099, to be specific. You know, back in the day of Calvin and Hobbs, the comic strip, I used to pronounce these as hobbies. But it's totally Hobbs. Uh, let's see. Lex stats not great, but not horrible. Let's try to get that intelligence at least to seven. A worse luck stat though. Let's try that again. Really like that luck at eight point six, huh? Okay, luck stats better. Yeah, let's go with this. I'm gonna keep going warrior because that's basically like basic the basic absolute level you can go swimming get some reading but anytime you start like a new game warrior is definitely like where you want to start off because that's usually what the game is kind of balanced around and then you can kind of worry about the other stuff later where the hell is our friend here go see our friend I see there he is thank you I you just need to go looking for him. Uh, no. Do this right here. There we go. Okay. Clean darts is not what I want today. I mean, I guess the blow dart could be good. Trouble is, we need to be able to not be seen while we use it, and that's not always easy. Bone armor is good, though. Wear some of that. It's not magical or anything, but it's still better than we're currently using. And sure enough, the reading seal already pays it for itself there because it turns out we have something we we'll need to read. Okay, down here. Hey, night charge, sure. Uh, here you can have the spears and the full arm. Full arm's definitely a two-handed weapon that's just not gonna happen today. Unless we get really lucky with a bunch of, I don't know, invoke light spells or something, I guess. Their bone armor, is this one magical? No. Alright, so we'll give it up. If I had an ability attached to it, I would totally trade it out. Amber necklace. Okay, the last amber necklace was really good. The last necklace we have in our last run, I'm um, introduced into stun. What does this one do? Okay. Less thirsty, that's actually good. Better than the alternative, that's for damn sure. That damn curse of thirst less. That one time was definitely rough. Backup torch is good. I think it's good. No backup weapons yet, huh? Shield. Turquoise necklace. You know, we could try it, I suppose. I'm worried it's going to be a curse, but we could try it. Hey, okay, fire seizure. Nice. There's a blowgun in case we really want it. Oh, hey, backup sword. Huzzah. Uh, tourniquet's good. Okay, let's try this new necklace. Resistant to poison. Okay, do I want to be less thirsty or more resistant to poison? Poison will mess us up, like, quite a bit. Whereas thirst is kind of easy to ameliorate. So I think we're going to go with this. So we'll drop off the other one. Oh, uh, yeah, the anger and amber necklace. It's good, don't get me wrong. But not as good as it could be. Okay, none of these shields are magical, so I'm not going to worry about those. Tear that up. Tear that up. Anything else to tear up? Yeah, there we go. Tear that up. Okay, can we tell the shields are magical just by looking at them? They have to be in our inventory first. We have three shields in here, and none of them appear magical. All right. We don't need three shields. Shields last for a very long time. We have not seen a shield break yet. I'm not saying that it couldn't happen, but we haven't seen it happen yet, so I'm going to assume we're good. Okay, that was the town. We have some night shards. We did. I'm going to go ahead and leave our companions here in the dark. Um, yeah, just unwield the torch. 
and wield the shield instead. We go off in the darkness, leave our companions behind, we get all the experience that way, or die horribly to this bone golem, one of the two. Okay, we killed him first, that's great. These guys we can kill at least, that's good. Always worried, like, sometimes the game's like, you know what? You can only murder, like, say, you know. Um, nothing important, basically. Okay, I don't know if the bone golem actually died, but I'm going to pretend he did. Get reading up to level 2, that way we can read most scrolls. At least most scrolls early. Let's get physical resilience up. Bone golem is dead, let's recover our stamina. And night shard has gone away, that's the way that goes. Let's go ahead and wield a torch. And ignite it. Okay, buddy. Thank you very much for stealing my night shard. I need that. Livid liquid. Interesting. Livid. Livid liquid. Do I misunderstand what the word livid means? Like, that seems like an odd adjective for liquid. Like, I know a person can be livid. Basically very, very angry. Can, can a liquid be livid? It doesn't make sense to me, but if I need to look it up. You know what? I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Maybe, I, I'm, maybe I'm going to learn a new word today. It's possible. Let's see. We go Google and do define livid. Discolored by bruising. Black and blue. Ah. Huh. Okay. That is not what I associate with livid, but totally it's a color. Kind of. I mean, it's, it's a discolored kind of color, but it's still a color. I learned something today. That's cool. I was like when I learned something. Bone golems everywhere. Did I actually kill him? I bleed less. Let's go ahead and... Okay, yeah. Corpse there of a lesser to zooming. So he did die. There's backup weapon. Don't mind if I do. Surprised you. Okay, bone golems all over the damn place. What is up with this? Which means more than. I'm really suspecting that, that means that the special named golem will be around here. That's gonna be some bad times. So if we see him first, we might be able to do something about it. I don't know what, but something. Okay, you see me, you die. And when we get a good hit in, it's great. It's the trouble is we haven't seen a lot of good hits. Waiting for this bone golem to pop out of nowhere and ruin my life. So far, so good. Uh, let's go over to the west side here. We're a little bit too far over on this side. I'm surrounded. It's not good. Get some stamina back. Get some stamina back. Stamina back. Then murder this guy. Anything good behind the walls? Just a bed. You know what? Let's sleep in the bed. Damn it. Stunned by a freaking snake. Uh, drop my weapon, so pick that back up. Wield it. And then murder this fucking snake. There we go, then rest. Oh my god. Can you leave me alone for five seconds? Thank you. My arm is seriously hurt. Um, let's go ahead and herb plaster that up. I said herb plaster that up. There we go. I mean, I guess it's my own fault for, you know, trying to sleep out in the middle of the woods. Especially dangerous woods like these. Okay, I will go for... You know what, throwable weapons probably also counts for making sure the stun bag lies where you want it to be. Go for that. Let's also get some endurance here. Let's get some... Let's get our let's get our rank and detect traps. That'll be helpful in the lost city. Okay, move 
Moving right along. Might need a spare torch pretty soon. How's my weapon and my torch looking? Okay, my weapon's gonna break for sure. We do have back weapons, so that's not too bad of an issue. The torch, however, is uh, just good for a little while longer. Okay, good so far. Hey, come up here, guys. Why not? My, uh, my, my weapon broke. Alright, drop it. And wield the new one. Go for this one. None of them are magical, so it doesn't really matter which one. Okay, your turn. Did he actually steal something from me? Because he's run. He did not. Ochre liquid, okay. Ochre's kind of a... Oh, I don't know. I want to say kind of a green, but I don't know if that's actually true. Like a half remembering something. Oh, there's an axe over there. Let's grab that axe. That could be good for us. Okay. Come on, little raccoons. Can come for me? How's it going to go? How's it going to go? Apparently you're going to die. With your friend. He's also going to die. Okay. Do we have... So we have some canteens, but none of them are empty. Let's go ahead and empty out one of these by quaffing this. Okay, invisibility water. Big deal. Uh, but since we're thirsty, I was thinking maybe we just, you know, refill this here. And then quaff that. And that makes me less thirsty. You know, I'm invisible for a little while. Not going to last that long. Might as well go to the next region, though, while I'm invisible. Okay, so it's not really going to be that great for me, because, uh, hold on. Oh no, Patches of Rainforest, okay. Water, Maru, you. And apparently being wet makes me no longer visible, so that's good to know. Definitely want to pick up that lily eventually, but not yet. Is bone armor there? I'm already wearing bone armor, right? I am. I'm gonna need to heal soon, but not yet. Okay. Oh, right. Not immune to suns anymore. That was like, you know, last run. Go murder the owl then. He deserves it. He knows what he did. He stunned me. It's pretty obvious. Works in the bees are gonna take so long to bash down with the sword. Oh, hey, scroll. What if I do? else around here. Alright, so we're unlikely to get against bone golems in this part of the forest. In the rainforest, sure. But in this forest, usually not. It's happened all of once before. So I don't think we have to worry about that anymore. We just have to worry about uh, cultists, really. Like this guy. Okay, apparently I'm bleeding. Patch that up. Still stunned. Done forever. Done a very long time. Keep on being stunned. Oh my fucking god, I got freaking wiped there. There were a lot of bad guys there. I thought I could just take the cultist just as it was, but no such luck. Uh, let's go again, shall we? Because that wasn't quite 15 minutes. Bottle Leader says randomly select a name for us. It is Melvi Tech 64. It's a good name. I like that. What do we got? We've got a pretty good luck stat, pretty good constitution. Intelligence sucks, but otherwise, I think that's pretty good. One-handed blades. Um, let's see. I'm wondering about throwable weapons. But maybe instead we'll go for reading. And we'll pick up, like, endurance and light armor and all that good stuff later. 
Okay, so we get our ring. We get our weapon on the right hand. We start with the Cantina Vicious Liquid. Could be a healing potion for all I know. What else would we start with it, right? Okay, Fried Chaplain could be good. If nothing else, Raccoon Bait. They pick that up instead of, you know, dealing with me. Shield's good. I'm going to go ahead and drop off some of this. Uh, pick up all of this stuff and then drop off that. Okay, let's tear up the loincloth. Tear up the blouse. Okay, so we knocked down this here. Bring it to the other junk pile. And sure enough, stun bag. Totally worth it. Five stun bags is really totally going to be good. Also, we're going to deal with the archers. Fire seeds is good. I like fire seeds. Nelson there. What do you got? Scroll of something. We don't know what it does. Okay, I don't remember seeing this guy before. I caught the God of Wind, so probably quickness. Probably not a bad idea to do that after we're done looting. We already have a shield, so I'm not going to worry about that. Cotton Arm I don't want. Another Jade Ring. Okay, let's see what the Jade Ring does. Okay, resistant to poison. Great. We had that on our last run. Didn't seem to do much for me, but... You never know. Backup torch is good. We do not have a backup weapon. That's unfortunate. Uh, I guess we wouldn't have to have a backup weapon, would you? Well, stone axe. That kind of works. That kind of works. Okay. It's something. Do I have any night shards? I do not. So we're going in with our friends. Oh, tear up the loincloth. Anything else we need to tear up? Nah, we're probably good. Okay. Let's go. Into the forest we go. We watch our friends horribly be murdered. Not before they murder other things, of course. I get points in swimming I thought I did, but no, I don't know. Okay, get my stamina back. Wait for the snake to come to me. Raccoon, freaking. Okay, I think he got away with something. Keep on failing her. There we go. Got the freaking frigates back. That's something. That'll be good for when I'm hungry later. It should keep for a good long while, I would hope. I mean, it's fried, right? Isn't that like the... Um, okay, you guys are all surrounding me now. I do not like that. I'll kill my friend. Thank you. Rest up. Oh, well, hello there, Bone Golem. I wasn't expecting you today. As you can tell, I'm going to die horribly now because I'm knocked out and I can't move. And I died. Okay, that lasted what? All of 3 minutes 54 seconds. Wow. Wow. Should we try another one? Sure, why not? Run number 73. Here we go. Bottom of the verse is randomly selected a name for me. Sila Music. That's a great name. It's vaguely female to me, so we'll go with that. Oh, that's bad luck stat. Let's try that again. 9.5 is really good, though. That's actually some good stats, though. Let's try this out. Okay. Let's get some physical resilience. Just so you know, so we... Get stunned theoretically less often. Let's get some endurance as well. Worry about swimming and all that stuff later. Right now, let's just try to live. How about that? New and wonderful approach to life. Just try to live. Okay. Let's see what we got in this dungeon or this uh, town here. A brass ring. All right. Sure. What? What do you got? What do you got? What does the brass ring do? On my right hand. Okay, more intelligence and more resistant to poison. They love throwing the resistant to poison at me right now. And I'm okay with it. Arrow's not really going to cut it for me. K 
Canteen's good. Pray to the god later, if I remember. I think that's the wind god. Oh my god, the freaking kitchen's in my way. Sorry, but you have to go to your neighbors to cook, all right? Because this is now broken. Oh, was there some spears? Well, we didn't know. We didn't know. Night shard, tourniquet. Okay, all this stuff is good. Tear up the dress. And in here, tourniquet. Okay. Another one. Yep, over here. Herb plaster is great. Fried chaplain to help me when I'm hungry. And again, the kitchen's in the way. I'm gonna just tear up my weapon hard time. There. And crappy stuff I don't want anyway, but I didn't know that because it was blocked. Okay, jade necklace could be good. What do we got? Uh, wear it. And it's cursed. Less resistant to fire. Now I'm more likely to be caught on fire, at least until I get rid of this. Uh, was there a shrine to Korsakotl? I don't think we saw one. All these are very small areas, so... Oh, there we go. Korsakotl. There you go, buddy, pal, friend. Hey, thanks, bud. Appreciate it. I can drop that necklace. Thank you. Lucked out, man. We don't always have a shrine to Korsakotl in the village. So, those were done with. Go ahead and tear that up. All of 16 bandages. Doesn't sound like a lot. Yeah, okay, that's empty. But I think that's all we're gonna get. The only spot we haven't explored yet. Try get another fried chaplain. Sure, why not? Great, more spore bags is great. So, we're up to seven. Tourniquet. You know what? Take a mushroom. Why not? Why not indeed? Actually, will you guys follow me into the mushroom land? Let's find out. I think they did. I think they followed me in a mushroom land. Dude, I've never done that before. I've never had them follow me here. Okay, now we have a weird creature. My friend is going to die. Very likely. Aren't there portals to like the regular realm around the town? I could have sworn. Brutal strike impacts a. I can't even pronounce that. Zolo Esculental is back. Fighting noise is southwest. Oh, I got stunned. And I died immediately. Holy fuzzy cats. What killed me? The icy wave freezes his lungs. The Zola Kulumtul dies. Something hits you with the jade arrow from the southwest. The accurate blow wrecks your right armpit, breaking ribs and breastbone. Wow. Shot with a jade arrow that just killed me instantly. So what is the point of those damn mushrooms if it's just going to murder you? There must be a good reason to have those mushrooms that I can't figure... I mean, even the town, which should be not exactly safe, but safer. And it just destroys you. Huh. I want to go for one more run. Run number 74. We're almost at the three force point. Seems crazy to me. Alright, Bot of the Universe has randomly selected a name for us. Negsters42. I don't know what that means, but sure. Should be positive instead, though. Oh, that's a really good intelligence stat. I'm liking all these stats right now. Let's go over this. One, two, three, and one hand of blades. We'll go also with light armor. And, um, endurance. And maybe if it's a resilience, if I can find it, there it is. All right. Two points left over for something else later on. Okay, so we're not going into the frickin' Shadow Realm, that's for damn sure. 
Every once in a while, I'm just curious, but it's just all bad. It's just all bad. Don't do it. Don't do it. Too bad, too, because we had some good stuff going on there. But sadly, way it goes. Okay, stone axe is good. Bone armor is better. Let's see. The bone armor is not blessed, unfortunately, but that's okay. At least better than the cotton armor. That's all we really want. Get there. Oh, hello. Well, fortunately, I can murder you guys easily enough, and you dropped a nice little dagger for me, and I appreciate that. Freaking bone golems in the middle of town. What's up with that? You guys not believe in security, or is there like a curse going on? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's a curse that actually turns people into bone golems. Turns out if you don't get enough sun, thought it was just vit thought vitamin D was like keeping you healthy. Well, it is keeping you from being turned to a bungle. Who knew? Who knew? Turns out if you don't get enough sunlight, you become a bone golem of death. I mean, sure, you might think that's awesome. You know, become a bone golem. Avatar of doom. Destruction. Go through your town. But let's be honest. Some of these bone golems die pretty easily. Uh, let's use the brass ring. What the hell? It makes us faster. Oh, our mana regenerates faster. That's not as good. I thought for some reason, I just saw the word faster and I was very excited. Sorry, dude. We have to go to your neighbors to cook. I know I used that joke before, but it's still true. Okay. The scroll could be good. Um, the brass ring is not, though. I'm going to go ahead and drop it. Keep it in escape to get out. Like, that's actually a thing. It's not. Okay. Shrine to Quest of So in case I get anything cursed, which is great. Get back up torch. Lots of herb plaster. I like it. I'm only at five, but that's lots by starting standards anyway. Blowing cloth. So we get more bandages. Well, one more bandage, but still. One more than we had. Spear I do not want. Volcano ring. Okay. Sure. What is a volcano ring? Made of volcanic stone. Okay, so it's like obsidian. Okay, that's fine. Go and wear it. And same thing. Your mana regenerates faster. Why do they want me to have faster mana regen? Okay, this. Toss it. That's the brass ring of mana regen. And now we have this freaking volcano ring of mana regen, which is not helpful for me. Take off, and we'll put this away, too. There you go. Okay, fire seeds, not a horrible idea. And that's it. That's the entire town. We did get a night shard. I'm going to leave our friends behind, because it worked out fairly well for us in the past. Take a night shard, eat that. Wouldn't wear a shield. What the hell? Might even help. Might even help. Stole something from me. Did he? Yeah, he stole the chaplain, because of course he did. Turns out raccoons are just hungry. And that's why we don't let the dog come in here, because then we don't level up as fast. Okay, so I want... We didn't grab any scrolls. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Tactics. Swimming. We at least need one roll in swimming so we don't drown as easily. And then light armor. Okay, night shard's not gonna last long, so the longer I can hold off resting for stamina, all the better. Only gonna be so much I can do with that. down there into deer oh okay so didn't actually steal anything from me so that's good and night shard is gone all right back to torches makes me a glowing target in the forest but it's better than not being able to see did see you over there all right come over here buddy there you go 
Stop stealing from me. Can't go that way. I do have an axe, right? So I could chop down trees to make my way a little bit easier here, but hopefully not gonna be that much of an issue. Looks like the edge of the world here. Let's go to the other side. Yeah, big old target, unfortunately. Oh, hey, canteen. How do I get over there? Uh, up this way. There you go. Khaki liquid. Isn't khaki like a mixture of colors? Well, so is the other word we learned today, so... Oh, okay, bungalow doom. Shouldn't be able to get too far here. That's all I need, just a little bit of time. What's up here? Oh, nothing. Just a table of nothingness. You're a deer. It's okay. You can be a deer. If I was stronger, I'd probably try to take out the deer, but it's pretty dangerous around here. Okay. Don't look too far in this direction. Let's go over here and see what else we can get. Oh, hello. Thankfully, there's a bottleneck right here. Otherwise, I'd be in some bad trouble. Oh, hey, look. Bad trouble is coming to join me. My sword broke. I do not have a backup sword, but I do have the stone axe that's even magical, so let's go for it. Drop the club. You're dead. Okay, so the magical axe is... Oh, it's durable. Okay, cool. So it'll last longer. Great. Well, that's all I want for my weapons. They just last almost forever. That'd be fantastic. If they get hit better, too. That'd also be great. But, you know, I get too picky here. We did have that one axe that was like plus nine and durable. That was great. That is not this current axe, though. Um, I saw a raccoon over here. Yep, there you are. I only couldn't hit you very well. Oh my god, really? There you go. Thank you. Back. How do we get to you? I guess we chopped down this tree. There we go. Oh, hello there, Bone Golem. You totally see me here? Oh, and also... Also you. Okay, yeah, block me for a little while here so I can patch up my wounds. Thank you. Thank you, deer. Appreciate that. Deer can be helpful. A spear thrower. Not what I'm looking for today, but thanks for the thought. Is that a, another spear thrower down here? That's a torch. Do I have a spear backup torch? I do have a backup torch. Okay. Backup weapons I'm kind of short on, but backup torches I got. Okay, wait for the snake. Wait for the wolf. You're out of there. All right. Make sure I don't get murdered. That's all I ask. I mean, the birds are still chirping. If it's nighttime, like, there's no sun, right? Would the birds still chirp? I guess it depends on the bird. And with my torch here, they could actually be fooled. Like, when I went for... I mean, we used to go for long walks at night until the pandemic. I guess we'll be doing that again. That'd be nice. Um, my girlfriend and I used to walk at night every time, and there'd always this one bird and be near a be near a light post. And he would just keep singing and singing and singing. We just figured out, you know, he's probably just confused. Like, the light turns on, he figures, all right, everyone else must be up, too. And so, you know, chirp, chirp, chirp all day long, or all night long, rather. Probably not all night not long. He probably got exhausted at some point, just went to bed. But he would just keep on chirping, because, you know, the light was right there. And he'd basically be the only one to do it. Because, again, the light was, like, right next to his nest. He chose, like, the worst spot he could possibly Awesome place to get job. We're reading. And light armor again. Alright. It's a while to knock out these snakes sometimes. Or any of these animals, really. Well, I'd be worse with daggers. Make sure to take out the owls before they take you out. I mean, they can be helpful in taking out the other bad guys because, you know, their stuns work in omnidirectional ways, but... Pinole. Okay, well, that could help cure some thirst, maybe. 
call wouldn't be my first choice, but I had to do it. But I think I would also like in this game, which would be kind of maybe situational, is being able to combine like different liquids. Like back in the day, that's what they used to do, right? They used to combine like alcohol with water because you couldn't trust the water. And we definitely can't trust the water here. We've had that one thirst curse on us that made it so if we drink, we have to drink too much water. Turn out the water isn't good for you because it's greenish. If you drink too much, your stomach can't handle it and you throw up or die even. Um, so if we could actually combine any of the alcohol with water, it'd be pretty cool. Of course, I don't see a way to do that. Only it's actually a mechanic you can use here. Please, I know you've seen it there. Okay, I got stunned by an owl, but big deal. There he is. It's funny the owls come up to you when they stun you. Maybe that's just how they eat their prey. I don't realize that I'm not praying until they get up close and you go, Oh, it's human. Ah, last time I ate human, didn't agree with me. Let him be. Hey, he's attacking me. You're a bastard. Okay, more rigid cotton pants. We're not going to worry about that. Well, I guess they could be magical. I'll pick them up just to see. Okay, muddy liquid. More herb plaster. Great. Are the pants magical? They are not. Go and drop them in. Oh, hello, Mr. Conquistador. You have some good boots for me? I think maybe we only got one point in reading. Let's go for two. You know what? Maybe some first aid just in case. Get some let's go resilience and that'll do. He has a boot for me. Alright, pick up the boots. Okay, get our endurance back. I suppose we should wear the boots. Don't suppose they're magical. They are not. They're still boots. We're currently not wearing any shoes. Now we're wearing shoes. Okay. We just get our way downstairs. That'd be great. Probably want to take out everything in the forest before we head downstairs to the Lost City. Some of the course things don't respawn. I don't think they do. But they're pretty static. What do you got here? Oh, there's a feral child. Feral teenager. I don't wish I could, like, knock him out and, like, tie him up. That's not a thing. I mean, we could, we have the rope we could tie somebody up with, but... Never been able to successfully just knock somebody out. I mean, I guess we do occasionally knock them out by accident when we... Attack them with a strong attack. Not always the same thing. Stop stealing my crickets. Okay. You die. Get my stamina back. I get some a little bit. And then you die. Eventually. There we go. You bled to death. Good enough. Oh, okay. No resting for the wicked then. Okay. Heal up. Would you mind just dying? Why can I not murder you? There we go. Okay, heal up a little bit. Need to repair our leg. Uh, yeah, we got our plaster. That's good. That seems to have worked. I'm a little stunned now. That's okay. Let's see how lot. Don't know. It could be anywhere. Can't be that far away, though, because we're affected by it. Drink the panoli that should should cure our thirst here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Should probably fill up the empty canteen with water in case we need it. Uh, I thought out there was water over this, so I guess not. Some of these ocelots, man, just cannot seem to hurt them for the life of me. Wait for it. There are the owls. Hey, guys. We murdered. And be Thank you. Yeah, not ready to go downstairs yet. 
Hey, more plasters. That's great. Might need that. We're stunned. You're dead. Take that. Wait for it. There. Owls can't hurt us too much, thankfully. The snakes. We're still resistant to poison, right? So that shouldn't be too much of a worry. Oh, I didn't want something down here. Yeah, this. This. And we don't know if we actually need it, but you never know. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. No biting me when I come around a corner. 107. Done in a single blow. Maybe axes are better for... Um, better for bees? It does seem to take less hits with an axe than it would with a sword. Not sure what I think about that. Okay, I mean, sometimes the ocelot's just a little bit more um, maneuverable than I'd like. He's going to wake up the rest of the animals. Let's back up a little bit here. Okay. Murdered. You guys still awake? You're still asleep. Okay, great. Okay, that works for me. No way downstairs on this side, but I wasn't really expecting one. We already have one on the other side. Okay. Damn stuns. Okay, you're, you bled death. Let me go ahead and just wait here. And then attack the owl. Yeah, sometimes we're just very unlucky. Even with the pluses to our attacks, it's just not enough sometimes. My charge is good. Another owl over here. Can we already explore this way? Like, why? Maybe the owls do respawn. Maybe the animals respawn around here. The bad guys respawn. That could be very, very bad for us. Red liquid. I mean, I guess that means we could grind if you really wanted to. Not usually how I like spending my life, but it is possible that could be the way to do this. We've already explored this area. We need to go to the west then. Find something new. Okay, great. Better we can get this, the better off we are. Um, so... Heavy armor? We might be picking up some heavy armor soon. Like, if jade armor is actually heavy armor, we might need it. Tactus isn't a bad idea for more damage. Let's go heavy armor. What the hell? And physical resilience. Can I get endurance? I can get endurance. Great. How's our weapon doing? Not too shabby. Our torch is almost gone, though. Do we have a spare torch? We do. Okay, good. We also have a lot of canteens. Might be worth it to drink some of the canteens and fill them with water instead. Just so we know, like, what's going on. We already have a bone, right? We already have bone armor. This might be magical, though, so we should look at it. It is not. All right, drop it. Always tell when it has a question mark or not. No question mark, not magical. Okay, let's give the empty canteen, refill it. Um, let's get some... Let's drink the khaki liquid. Inner heat liquid. Not my first choice, but sure. On that side? Okay. Glad to be able to take that owl out. We'll see if we can get to him. No, don't go in the middle of everybody. That would be very bad. What is this thing? You are uh, Zio Quoto. I don't know if that actually Oh okay, I got seriously injured there. I'm gonna die. I am straight up gonna die unless one of these things is gonna save me. Well, I got turned into a bat. I am still knocked out though, so of course as a bat, I can't uh can't go into my inventory. Fortunately, I think this is it. Yep. 
Killed as a bat. Killed as a bat. Well, there it goes. Well, thanks for watching. This has been Don the Meshka. I'll be the number two. Peace, number two. I'll see you guys next time.